Repent or perish. Repent. Repent or perish. Repent. Repent or perish. So with sisterhood, um, what does the word sisterhood mean? Sisters coming together, uh, applying the commandments with each other, building, learning how to be, uh, sisters coming together, learning how to be mothers, learning how to be sisters with one another, learning how to take care of their kids according to the scriptures. Okay. One more brother before we get into it. A strong bond among sisters. That's a little bit more plainer. Sisterhood is a righteous bond between sisters. A righteous bond between not an old, wicked, Negro woman bond. A righteous bond between sisters. So, <clears throat> when you think about sisterhood, right, what are the things that, if we don't get into what, how to create um, a bond, but what would be the things that would keep sisters separated? I think I'm giving it away. What would be anti-sisterhood characteristics? I'm giving it away. Well, hatred, uh, right? Hatred, okay, now we're cooking, the stove is on. Right. What else? Um, jealousy. Mmm. Jealousy. Right. Let's go with that one. Let's look up the word jealousy. When, when you think about sisterhood, and there's a lot of different things that can um, mess up a sisterhood or slow down the bonding process of sisterhood. But it's two things that I want to address today. <coughs> Is it three? It's jealousy, gossiping, and what's the other one? Envy. And envying. And you don't see how all three of these play a, a, a major role. Got what we got for, for jealousy? Jealousy, hostile towards a rival or one believed to enjoy an advantage. Okay, second one. Intolerant of rivalry or unfaithfulness. Okay, let's scroll down. Disposed to suspect rivalry or unfaithfulness. Disposed to suspect rivalry or unfaithfulness, all right? Vigilant in guarding a possession. All right, keep on going down. We got some synonyms for that? Synonyms. Uh, covetous, envious, green-eyed, invidious, jaundice, resentful. Hey, um, go to Google and type in jealousy and see what come up without going to an actual site. Jealous. Feeling or showing envy of someone or their achievements and advantages. Okay, now we're cooking with some hot grease here. Read that again. Okay. Jealous, feeling or showing envy of someone or their achievements and advantages. Oh, right. And we got synonyms that says what? Envious, covetous, desirous. Click more. more. more resentful, uh, grudging. Read, read up that from the beginning again with okay. the uh, synonyms. Envious, covetous, desirous, resentful, grudging. Now, guess what? Grudging. Before this truth, um, once again, I always say that before this truth, According to the scriptures, the curses, everybody in here was jacked up, right? Most had jacked us up. We read about that. Let's grab that real quick and do Deuteronomy 28. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, 
to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake give thee. Me, give me verse 28. <clears throat> verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness mm -hmm. and blindness and astonishment of heart. So that madness is going into what? Crazy. There we go. Everybody in here got a certain level of craziness in them. Would you agree? If you don't agree to that, you the devil. You lying to yourself. Everybody in here got some crazy in them. Some folks have got a lot of crazy. Some folks got a little bit of crazy in them. But everybody in here, according to the curses, got craziness in them. Does say it the scriptures. So it said the Lord doesn't smite us. With madness, what else? And blindness. Uh huh. And astonishment of heart. So our mind, the heart is the mind. So your mind is all jacked up. You crazy as hell. You, you, you can't comprehend it going to blindness. You, something can be right in your face, but you don't understand what's going on. That's all due to the curses. Pull up that, that video on jealousy. It's that knot in your stomach. That mix of fear and anxiety that materializes when you feel threatened by someone prettier than you, smarter than you, it can cause you to do some pretty stupid sitcom-level stuff just to regain control. Things that usually hurt other people, too. You're probably familiar with this feeling. It's what Shakespeare called the green-eyed monster. Today, we're talking about jealousy. Here's the thing, kids. Jealousy is a distinctly first-person emotion. It almost always comes from a place of insecurity, which you ultimately project on others. The bottom line? Jealousy isn't about the other person. It's about you. Today on Wellcast, we're going to help you work through these insecurities so that your friends and your loved ones don't get caught in the crossfire. We'll give you three coping mechanisms to help you keep that jealousy from taking complete control of your life, ruining your relationships, and making you look totally stupid. I know you felt that vice-like grip of the green-eyed monster. Because you're not alone. It happens to everyone. Studies show that children as young as six months grimace when their mothers interact with a dummy baby. It's pretty much the occupational hazard of belonging to the human race. We want to be loved, and we do not want to be ignored. Unfortunately, long after we've outgrown our diapers, we still become a little childlike when we're jealous. Jealousy tends to come with a specific set of blinders, and the more jealous we are, the less able we are to, let's say, empathize with others. For example, a study conducted by the researchers at the University of Delaware found that jealous people were more easily distracted <laughs> and less able to perform simple memory games. So let's try to figure out how to get your jealousy issues under control. Take out your Wellcast journal. We've got a three-step system for this, and it's simple. Acknowledge, communicate, and resolve. Pause. So the next time you're in a situation where you're experiencing those... The first thing we saw up there was what? That means you got to admit, you know, I'm jealous as hell. You got to be real with yourself. The scripture says that we got to do what? Examine ourselves. What that mean? You got to know you. You got to know if you're an angry person, you're a liar, you're a jealous person. Um, you got to know these things about you because once you know them things about you, then what? You can deal with it, right? So it's acknowledge, then communicate. Communicate mean what? Say it again. Got to get inside the spirit. So, hey, I, I got a jealous spirit. Now I got to look into the Bible and say, how do I deal with the jealous spirit, the envious spirit? Jealousy and envy is the same thing. Two different words, same definition. If you're jealous or envious, it's both the same thing, right? So keep that up there for a minute. Go to the Song of Solomon, chapter 8, verse 6. The book of Song of Solomon, chapter 8, verse 6. Because you know what? Out, outside in the world, they... Market everything to make you jealous. That's, they, that's what they market our people to be, to be jealous and envious of each other. Hey, you better than her. You better than him. They ain't nothing. You are something. Watch this. Set me as a seal upon thine heart, as a seal upon thine arm. For love is strong as death. 
Jealousy is cruel as the grave. The coals thereof are coals of fire, which have a most vehement flame. Watch this very, very heavy verse. I'm going to break it down to you. Read it again. Set me as a seal upon thine heart, as a seal upon thine arm. What, what's supposed to be set upon a, a seal upon our mind? Supposed to be what? The laws of God, right? That's supposed to be within our mind, right? Read on. For love is strong as death. Read it again from the top. Set Stay me as me. a seal upon thine heart, uh -huh. as a seal upon thine arms. So the law is supposed to not only be upon our mind, but on your arm means you're supposed to be performing them. Is everybody with me? Read on. For love is strong as death. He said, for love is strong as death. Why would they put them love, death? Why is that in the same verse? Watch this. Jealousy is cruel as the grave. That's what it's going to Some folks love to be jealous. They don't see nothing wrong with that. But in this truth, you have to watch it because that can destroy the building up of sisterhood. I'm looking to see what I don't like about you. Not what's good qualities. We always looking at what's wrong with a person. Right. You know what? He, he got a bump on his face. You know what? She got two crooked toes. What the hell? Her nose is a little bit small. She got some big ears. Why is we looking? What's going on? Why? Because we've been conditioned in slavery to think real weirdly. Real suspectly of each other. But now as these things come out in the scriptures, we have to repent of it. We have to be what the Bible says, born again. We got to reshape the way we think and process things. Watch this. Read on. The coals thereof are coals of fire, uh -huh. which have had a most vehement flame. So it letting you know that jealousy, envy, leads to death. Remember that. We don't come back to it. Go to Wisdom of Solomon now. I'm going to piece it together. Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 10. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 10. For the ear of jealous jealousy heareth all things, and the noise of murmurings is not hid. Read again. For the ear of jealousy heareth all things. Who is that talking about? Who is that talking about? Shalom. It's talking about the Most High. Based on what? You're absolutely right, but based on what scripture? Uh, I ain't got none. What did God say he is? We hear that in church. They got songs on that stuff. So read that again. Watch this. The reason why I was saying that, because you're like, wait a minute. I can be jealous because God, hallelujah, is jealous. He ain't jealous the way you, you jealous. That two different type of jealousies. We, we, we finna break that down for you. For the ear of jealousy heareth all things. Uh-huh. And the noise when, of... When, grab that scripture real quick. They might be thinking I'm making that up. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 5. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. Now, what is God jealous about? Who have read this? Ariel, that microphone. This is uh, going to um, the most high being jealous when you serve other. Can't hear a word you're saying. When you serving other gods besides the most high, that makes him jealous. Y'all see that? He jealous because you're dealing with some fake BS that don't exist. What is most folks up in here or in the world? I want to... What? Is they jealous about you serving another god? Y'all jealous over cars, clothes, body size. Um, what, what else? Materialistic things. What else? What did you say? Who you, Who you dating? That ain't what God jealous about. <laughs> Two different types of jealousy. But remember, read that verse again in Wisdom of Solomon. Let's go back there. Okay. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 10. For the ear of jealousy heareth all things, uh -huh. and the noise of murmurings is not hid. And he said, the noise of murmurings is not hid. What is that talking about? So he's saying that the Most High God is listening, and he, now he's saying, what is he listening to? The noise of murmuring is not here. What is that talking about? Zephaniah. So it's going into people that, murmuring is to somebody that's gossiping. You mm -hmm. know, somebody that's whispering. The Lord hear all things. Although I might be whispering it to him, the Lord hear. 
Good or bad, right? Good or bad, like it's saying Proverbs 15 and 3. The Lord, uh, he, he sees the evil and the good that you're doing. Y'all see that? Oh, you know, a lot of folks don't believe that. If we really, really believe that the Lord is recording every word that comes out of our mouth and we're going to be judged on the words, we really wouldn't talk. Folks become sign language then. You didn't try and get your evil off on this. I ain't say it. I signed it. That's not a sign it ain't in the scriptures. We will really watch our words. So read that again. Verse 10. For the ear of jealousy heareth all things, mm -hmm. and the noise of murmurings is not hid. So let me ask you this. So the Most High God is listening to murmuring, which go into complaining, which go into gossiping. Is he happy with that type of thing? What's the scripture proof that he ain't happy with? Who has a scripture for me? Ariel. Galatians 5 and 19. Absolutely correct. Verse 21. Start at verse 19 and jump to 21. Okay. The book of Galatians chapter 5 verse 19. Now the works of the flesh are manifest. Which are these? Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness. Verse 21. Envyings. What is envying? Goes back to jealousy. What goes along with murmuring. Right? So, absolutely. Uh, how does the Lord feel about it? Read on. Murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So that's not a new one. It's always been established in the earth that those that still deal with a jealous spirit, that deal with a murmuring spirit, you ain't getting the kingdom. It, that's not like a new doctrine. Our forefathers been knew that, been teaching it, the understanding been established. But the reason why a lot of our folks find themselves still in those spirits is because they like it. And there's other people that like it too along with them. It's a feel-good lust to murmur, to be jealous. So watch this, watch this, to envy. Go to um, Sirach real quick, Sirach 26, verse 6. Watch this. The book of Sirach, chapter 26, verse 6. <clears throat> because this ain't just something that going with the sisters. I'm going to let you know, we're talking about sisterhood. But brothers had that same jealous and envious um, spirit as well. Brothers murmured too and complained too. Watch this. Okay. So Rock chapter 26, verse 6. But right now we're dealing on the sisters though because we're dealing with sisterhood. Verse 6. But a grief of heart and sorrow is a woman that is jealous over another woman. And a scourge of the tongue with co which communicated with all. Watch this. It says, but a grief of heart. Heart is the what? Is the mind, right? So it's a grief of the mind and sorrow is a woman that is jealous over another woman. Have we ever heard that before outside the Bible? Now in the world, they say it's good. Hey, that folks always say, how do my haters? Or some folks say, I am a hater. Mm -hmm. I hate on stuff. There's some dude on YouTube called The Hater. It's a Jake dude, The Hater. But the Lord said that, that, the word again, read the verse again. But a grief of heart and sorrow is a woman that is jealous over another hey, woman. Hey, the Lord ain't pleased to see a sister that's jealous over another sister. Why? Because it's something wrong in your spirit. Why are you jealous of that sister? You, you are you. You are unique. What, what's the good old um, Christian quote? I think it's in the Bible, but I ain't sure. That you are you uniquely and wonderfully made. Fearfully, go on there, bring it out. Here we go, the, the ex minister. Go on there. <laughs> Say you are. Quote that thing, minister. <laughs> Say you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Bet nobody starts shouting around there. But look, fearfully and what? Everybody is unique. You just the way the Most High built you to be. What's the weakness in that? You know who teaches that? The devil out there. To try and compare yourself with the next sister, compare yourself to the next brother. You're unique. <laughs> you 
exactly what the Lord wanted in the earth. There ain't another you. And you're supposed to be proud and in honor in that. Not be, oh man, I wish I was you. No, the Lord wanted you to look like you and me to look like me. We're wonderfully made. Is everybody clear on that? So watch this. Um, read the verse one more time for me. But a grief of heart and sorrow is a woman that is jealous over another woman. Watch this part. And a scourge of the tongue which communicated with all. So guess what? How, how is that jealousy illustrated? Through communication. But you think folks, you think sisters are going to phone and say, hey, shalom, sister, most high Christ bless. I'm jealous of this sister. No, they don't, y'all don't come that plain and open. How it come? Shalom, sister, most high Christ bless. Did you see what sister such and such was um, wearing? Hey, you know I had that same dress. She asked me where to get it from. And now she want to, you know she want to dress like me. Anytime I have some, she's saying, where I get it from? And she, she want to dress. She want to be me. Do that sound familiar? Don't say nothing. Don't tell on yourself. It's always deceitful. It, it never comes straight out. It's always around the corner, around the block, through the alley type of conversation. Is everybody clear on what I'm saying? It's, yeah, they call it sneak dissing. Or they, uh, what's the other word? Throwing shade? Yeah. yeah. Throwing, Throwing shade. shade. That's what we're going to... That don't supposed to be named amongst the daughters of the Most High God. That don't supposed to be named amongst the sons either. So read that last part again. <clears throat> and a scourge of the tongue which communicated with all. So it's wicked when, okay, it's jacked up and evil. You feel that way. But now you take it up to the next level when you're starting to communicate that evil. When, when you're now starting to put that spirit out there on people. Hey, um, did, you, did you see? Uh, uh, hey, I noticed someone on the Sabbath. Did you see it? See what? See, you don't be looking. I, I, I observe everything. Did you see what color her lipstick was? I'm just saying, I, 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 I wouldn't wear that lipstick. Matter of fact, she stole that from me. All type of weird conversation. Wait a minute, you don't, you wouldn't wear it, but she stole it from you. Which, what's going on there? It's something wrong with the mind. I don't like that, that garment she got on, but you know it'll look good on me. I'm confused. I thought you didn't like it. <laughs> But it look good on you. That's how jacked up the mind is. You affirming one thing, then disaffirming in the next statement. That's sinful. That's evil. And we can't grow, and you won't get the kingdom behind that kind of behavior. Let's stay in the same book. Give me chapter 9, verse 1. <clears throat> Bear with me on this. <clears throat> the book of Sirach, chapter 9, verse 1. Be not jealous over the wife of thy bosom. I got to go over here now. Because, you know, they think jealousy, that's something that it's a woman thing. Do you know some brothers are je- jealous of their wives? How? That's their wife. They got her. Your wife might be a little bit more educated than you. You don't like that. So what you do? You weaken her hands. You don't try to have her do nothing. You don't want to show forth that, hey, she, the Lord blessed her to be more talented. She's more smarter. So what? I, that's my woman. Yeah, that's me right there, dog. Not in the way the brothers feel. They're like, no, nah, you want to try. No, nah, I don't want her to do that. I don't want her on that committee. I don't want her to be a part of that. Yep. Wife got skills, connections, but guess what? That, we don't see it scripturally like that makes you look good. We see it as, you know, she thinks she's better than me. She outshining me. That's an unrepentant, wicked thought, brothers. Watch this. Read that verse again. Watch this. Be not jealous over the wife of thy bosom, uh-huh. and teach her not an evil lesson. Guess, guess what? Not only do she got certain talents and gifts that could help the body, make the house look good, the Lord said, don't do what? Teach her an evil lesson against thyself. You know what that going to? Now they try and use this Bible to, to, uh, against her. Sister want to do something, and now this brother going into the Bible to... to she, uh, the, the school said they need to meet with this. I'm going to go in there. No, I don't need you doing that. Matter of fact, I want you to go and do this. Um, okay, so after I do that, I'm going to go in there. No, 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 no. See, what is, you, you, you rebellious as hell. Let me get this scripture on you. Pull the scriptures for no. 
His mind is jacked up. You understand? And, and for some brothers, it's some brothers up in here that be holding, be suppressing their wife. No, the sister got connections, talented, but no. She could, hey, you, hey, hey I, I want to go and print it. Fall back. No, 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 no. Shh, be quiet. Woman. Oh, you know, be quiet. He go to scripture. You're wicked as hell. There's something wrong with you. You don't trouble your house. You ain't going to have a wife soon. That's craziness, brothers. And let the shoe fit who, who, who that applied to. Read, read that verse again. Sirach chapter 9, verse 1. Be not jealous over the wife of thy bosom. You know something else that's going to, too? The brother is married to her, right? This, this the, another, the next level of sickness. I'm going to go out with the sisters. We're getting together to go out somewhere. For what? You need to go nowhere where all the sisters are going to be there. What, it's going to be some men? No, you don't be out some men on try. Some brother be crazy thinking it, men are going to always try and holler at women, but hello, she's married to you. She with you. And if somebody could take her away, she wasn't ever yours to begin with. Y'all ever heard that before? I learned it from an old dude. <laughs> he said, if she could be taken, she was never yours to begin with. She was on, what, what, what did he say? I don't, I'm going to go into that field. I was around some evil niggas. But y'all got other, y'all can't bring that jealous spirit in the truth. You don't want your sister, the, you don't want your wife to, to go nowhere. Um, don't don't want her to be around other sisters. You don't want her out of your presence. Because you got a jealous spirit on you. You know what? She might, she might find a dude that, that's smart, like she is, and leave my sibyl behind. Why well, about you start treating her right according to the law? So watch this real quick. Stay in pro go, to, go, go, go to Proverbs real quick. Let me get an example in there. Proverbs 31. The book of Proverbs. We got some jealous brothers. Some real jealous brothers. And some of you women thought that was cute. And well, he, he's so crazy about me. Now it's getting kind of pathetic now in this trip. You're like, this dude is really crazy. It ain't cute no more. Where you going? You went to the bathroom. Who in there? We in the house. What you mean? Who in there? It's me and you. <laughs> Let me go in there with you. Why you flushed two times? Who in there with you? And we crack a joke. I'm telling you, it's some, the curse said the Lord spot us with madness. Yep. It is some crazy brothers out there and some crazy sisters. Proverbs 31, give me verse 11 to deal with these married brothers that's jealous of their own wife. The book of Proverbs chapter 31, verse 11. The heart of her husband doeth safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. Read, read again. I'm sorry. The heart of her husband. The mind of her husband. What? Doeth safely trust in her. Safely trust in her. Why? Because you know this is a righteous woman. Here. I know she feel the most high. She keeps the commandments. I'm good. Y'all, she can go anywhere. I'm good. I ain't worried about who trying to holler. I don't care how chocolate, how tall, what color his eyes is, what he drive, how much money he offer. She ain't going nowhere. Why? Because she righteous. That's the way y'all man's supposed to be. That's the way your spirit's supposed to be. And if it ain't there, we got some work to do. You got some work to do in studying. Read on. So that he shall have no need of spoil. Uh-huh. She will do him good and not evil. All the days of her life. That's the kind of relationship you're supposed to be having there, brothers. You got to know that that sister is going to, every move she makes is going to be for your benefit, not for your hurt. Not for your embarrassment. Not for your shame. Y'all understand that? Now, if you have a questionable wife, questionable thing, then that's a whole nother conversation. That's a whole nother set of scriptures we got to deal with. But some of y'all know y'all got good sisters. It's just you crazy as hell, period. All right? Um, that's the whole thing on that one. Give me verse 10. Verse 10. Who can find a virtuous woman? That's the kind of sister you're supposed to be joined to. That's the kind of sister you're supposed to be building up with scriptures and nourishment to be a virtuous sister. All right? So watch this from now, from now, from now, from now, from now. Anything y'all want to bring out on jealousy and envy? Hey, real quick, when it comes to, um, it, when the captain said if your wife isn't right, 
we talking about since she came here. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of times you've been married 10, seven years prior to coming into the truth. And you bring a lot of the stuff that she used to do in here with her mm-hmm. and say, well, I don't trust her because she used to go with her friends and not come home the same night. Brother, when was that? Oh, that was two years ago. But still, she's guilty of it. Like, no, the scriptures say when you come into Christ, he's a new creature. So we got to let go of that past what our marriages were according to the world and bring your marriage into the Bible and judge your wife according to the scriptures and what she's trying to do to build forth the kingdom of God. Yeah, that old thing's passed away. Let's grab that real quick. Let's read that because they might never heard that before. That old thing's passed away goes within marriages as well. All that toxicness that happened way back when, y'all cheating on each other, lying to each other, probably fighting each other, all that stuff in the past. You finna learn now how to be a man and be a husband. She now is finna learn how to be a woman and be a wife. Y'all starting afresh. That ain't just an individual thing. That goes within the marriage as well, all right? The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 17. Uh-huh. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. So she repented. She acknowledged that, 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 that she was in sin and did sin, just like you did. But now it's supposed to be new now in Christ, read. Right? Old things are passed away. All that old drama. And guess what? If you bring up old stuff, you the devil, brother or sister. If you now in this truth, you striving to be right, he's striving to be right, y'all get into an argument, and you bring back some stuff way back when he, when he was in the world, you the devil. You are the devil, and you trying to destroy your house. That's not building up the house. That's destroying your house. Read on. All things have become new. All things. Whatever she did, whatever he did is new. Y'all still together. What are you bringing up for y'all still together? <laughs> you're still together. <laughs> if you really held that way, why you ain't gone? Why? How come y'all still here? Why? Why? <laughs> what y'all still married for? If it was so bad and you just can't get over it, why y'all here? So quit letting Satan utilize you as a weapon to destroy each other. Is everybody clear on that? Now you will see the true men of God. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.